Why would you want to get cooking up? So here's a few of the reasons why you may want to get your cooking up. First off is money making. So higher level fish can provide uh, some profit between 150 to 500K per hour while AFKing. If you're willing to put in attention and effort, depending on the prices, you can sometimes make up to two mil per hour off of one tick karambuans. Another reason why you may want to get your cooking up is for the 99 cape. If you don't have a 99 cape, it's always nice to get one and cooking is one of the easiest 99 capes to get. You can start this skill with just about no money and make money along the way. It's AFK and it's extremely fast to 99. Another reason to get your cooking up is for quests and diaries. There aren't a ton of quests that require cooking, but one of the biggest quests in the game does, and that is Recipe for Disaster, which requires 70 cooking. What you get from Recipe for Disaster is barrel gloves, which are the best gloves in the game overall. You also need 62 for Swan Song, and then there are a few other uh, smaller quests that have some requirements as well. Then there are achievement diaries that have cooking requirements. In fact, cooking is one of the most required skills for the elite diaries. The Varrock Elite requires 95, Wilderness Elite requires 90, Grand Elite requires 84, and there's many, many more. Here's a table of some of them. So there are a couple items that can help with cooking. So first off is the cooking gauntlets. You get this from doing the family crest quest. And what they do is they improve your chance of not burning food. Although they only affect a, a limited amount of food. I'll throw up on the screen a table of the food that the cooking gauntlets affect. The second item is the cooking cape or the max cape. I assume you guys don't already have this, but if you do, or when you do have it, the cooking cape has an amazing perk for cooking, and that is that you never burn anything when it's wielded. So the main way that you do cooking is on fires and ranges where you cook your food. Here is a list of the best fires and ranges. So ranges are superior to fires in that they have a better cooking rate. You're gonna burn more food on a fire than you will on a range. So in order from best to worst, first off we have the Hosidius Kitchen. This is located just south of the Zaya Center. The reason why this is the best is because it reduces your burn rate by 5%. And then if you finish the Hard Diary, it reduces your burn rate by 10%. The requirements for the Hosidius Kitchen is 100% Hosidius Favor. Number two on the list is the Myth Skilled. This requires Dragon Slayer 2. There's zero spaces from the bank to the range. This saves you time running back and forth, so it's better XP per hour. But it doesn't have the reduced burn effect that the Hosidius Kitchen has. So if you're cooking food that you burn, it's worse than the Hosidius Kitchen. But if you're cooking something where you'd never burn, then it's actually better. Number three on the list is the Tizar Vent. This is actually tied with the Myth skill because the vent works as well as a range. And there's zero spaces from the bank to the vent. This does require a fire cape to use though. Number four on the list is the Cooking Guild. There's a range that is two spaces from the bank. The requirements for this one are 32 cooking and the Varrock Hard Diary. Number five on the list is the Narda Clay Oven, and that is six spaces from the bank. Number six on the list is the Rogue's Den. This has no requirements and it's zero spaces from the bank to the, to the fire. The thing with this one though, is it has a worse cooking rate because it's a fire rather than a range. Here are the quests that give cooking XP. There aren't too many. Most of these are actually sub pieces of Recipe for Disaster. In total, you can get 44,620 cooking XP from quests. Starting out level one to 33, we're gonna have two different routes, the efficient route and the alternate route. We're gonna start with the efficient route first. First, you want to do cook's assistant. That is gonna get you from level one to four cooking. That should take about one minute. Gertrude's Cat up next, that should take about 5 minutes, that will get you from level 4 to level 12 cooking. At this point you want to switch over to Mackerel, so do Mackerel from level 12 to level 15 cooking, that should only take 10 Mackerel. You will burn some, so of course buy more than 10. Next at level 15 we're going to move on to Trout. So from level 15 to 25 we want to cook Trout, we need to cook 78 Trout. Once again we're going to burn some, so you want to buy more than 78. You can always sell back whatever you have left over. Then at level 25, we're gonna switch over to Salmon. 
We need 62 cooked salmon to go from level 25 to level 30. Once again, we will burn some, so buy more than 62 salmon. Once we hit level 30, we're going to be doing Tai Bo Wanai Trio. This is a quest. Uh, the quest should take about 20 minutes, and the quest XP reward will get us from level 30 to level 33 cooking. So in total, this should take about 35 minutes to finish this list, going from level 1 to level 33 cooking. And Tai Bo Wanai Trio is important because it unlocks us the best training method for cooking in the game. Now an alternate route to start out with, uh, if you don't like quests and you don't want to do those, uh, then this route is probably for you. So first off, from level 1 to 10 we're going to be cooking shrimp. We're going to need to cook 39 shrimp, once again buy more than 39 shrimp, because you will burn quite a few in the beginning. Once you hit level 10, switch over to mackerel, you're going to need 21 cooked mackerel from level 10 to 15. At level 15, switch over to trout and you're going to need 78 cooked trout for level 15 to 25. At level 25, switch over to Salmon. You're gonna need to cook 62 Salmon for levels 25 to 30. And then finally, at 30 cooking, switch over to Tuna. You will need 49 cooked Tuna to go from level 30 to level 33. The total time should be about 15 minutes to finish this list. This is faster than the efficient route, but you miss out on the big unlock of Taibowane Trio, which plays a key role in level 33 to level 99 efficient cooking. Next up, I'm going to go over the efficient route from 33 to 99 cooking. After this, I will go over all of the other viable methods to get your cooking up. So if this method is not something that you would want to do, uh, then I will be going over the other methods as soon as I'm done with the 33 to 99 efficient route. And then you can just swap in the other methods that I show for any levels that you want from 33 to 99. The best method all the way from level 33 up to 99 is one tick karambuan. So we did Taibowane Trio quest in order to unlock being able to cook karambuans. If you try and cook them without having finished that quest, then you will just make poisoned karambuans, which is extremely bad cooking XP. Cooking gauntlets don't affect these, and you can burn them all the way up to level 99. So you want to be at the best range possible for not burning stuff, which is the Hosidius range. I would strongly recommend unlocking that range. The XP rate ranges from 500k all the way up to 1.1 mil per hour. And the profit is negative 800k per hour up to plus 1.7 mil per hour. That and the XP rate changes based on how many you're going to burn. So at level 33, there is a pretty high burn rate. Through my testing, this is what I found for the burn rates on a fire. Level 33 to 41 was about 50% success rate. That means I cooked 50% of the fish or the karambuans properly. Level 41 to 68, the success rate was 70%. So 70% of the karambuans I cooked came out nicely cooked. Level 68 to 91 was about 85% success rate. So 85% came out nice and 15% were burnt. Level 91 to 99 was greater than 95% success rate. And then just a quick equation, if you guys want to see where you're going to start breaking even and where you're going to start profiting, if you divide the raw price by the cooked price, that will give you the success rate that you need to break even. This only works, of course, if the raw price is lower than the cooked price. So I also put in an example. Currently, the prices are 583 GP for a raw and 873 for a cooked karambuan, which means you need a success rate of 66.8% to break even. These are the burn rates for the Hosidius range if you have the 10% bonus. If you just have the range unlocked, then it's a 5% bonus, but when you finish the Karand Elite Diary, then it uh, goes up to a 10% bonus. So even if you don't have the Elite Diary done, you still want to use this range. And your success rates are going to be more in between this list and the previous list for the fire. So level 33 to 40 was about 60% success rate. 40 to 45, about 70%. 45 to 60, about 75%. 60 to 67, 80%. 68 to 80, 92%. 80 to 91, greater than 95%. And 92 plus is 100% success rate. And with the current prices, you need a success rate of 66.8% to break even. So that means almost right off the bat, you're going to be breaking even. And of course, when your success rate is even higher than that, you will be profiting. So let's actually talk about how you do one tick karambuans now. So of course, you buy raw karambuans, you go to a range, 
you use the rock haram wands on the range and it will bring up a box in your text box with the choice of either a poison Quran bomb, which is uh, like a kind of a greenish color, or a white Quran bomb, which is a cooked Quran bomb. You want to just hold down the number two key that will select the cooked Quran bomb. And then you just want to repeatedly use your raw Quran bomb on the range over and over and make sure that your timing is correct. You have to, you have to use one on the range every one tick. And when your timing is correct, it will cook the next one without the dialog box disappearing. If the dialog box disappears, that means your timing was off and you messed it up and you gotta kinda restart it. So you don't want the, that little dialog box ever disappearing. So not only can you not do it too slow, you can't go too fast or else that will mess it up as well. And that's really all there is to it. It's really simple, it is click intensive, but it is not hard to do. I'd recommend going into fixed screen mode so that you can kinda zoom in and make your inventory right next to the range. So some total numbers, uh, if you're using the 10% Hosidious range, the expected Quran Bonds for 33 to 99 is about 72,000. The expected profit with today's prices is 18 mil, and the expected time is 13 hours. Now that the efficient route is out of the way, we're gonna talk about the alternative methods that you can use to train up your cooking if the super click intensive method isn't something that you're interested in. So the first alternate method that we're gonna talk about is the jug of wine. This method requires 35 cooking. Cooking gauntlets do not work for this method. The XP rate is 550K. You do lose money with this method. It is about 0.59 GP per XP at the time of this video, and it's slightly AFK. As for how you make the jugs of wine, you buy grapes and jugs of water. Then you just use your grapes on your jugs of water and that is all there is to it. So from level 35 up to 68, you have a chance of your wine becoming bad wine and then you don't get XP for that. That will lower your XP a little bit. Once you hit level 68 though, then you have a 100% chance of making good wine and that won't happen anymore and you'll get the full 550k XP per hour. There's an interesting mechanic with jugs of wine in that it has a delayed XP drop. So you have to stop making wines for 12 seconds before you will get an XP drop. So people actually use this to get massive like 20 mil XP drops by continually making wines without stopping and they just keep stacking up the XP. From level 35 to 99 cooking, it's gonna take about 65,000 wines. It'll take about 23.6 hours, and you'll lose about 7.7 .7 mil as of making this video. The next method I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna call the alternate fish method. This is kind of like the beginner method that you see most people using. It's the most intuitive way to get your cooking up on this game, and that is just simply cooking fish, cooking the best fish that you can. For this method, I would highly recommend getting cooking gauntlets. They are extremely helpful. To get them, as I said in the beginning of the video, you need to do Family Crest. I'd also highly recommend getting 100% Hosidious Favor so that you can use the Hosidious range. The XP rates are gonna range from 140K per hour to 320K per hour. This method is AFK, and there is a small amount of profit. Here's the route that I would use. From level 33 to 40, I would cook tuna. That will take 190 cooked tuna. 40 to 45, I would do lobsters, and that will take 203 cooked lobsters. 45 to 60, I would do swordfish, and that would take 1,516 cooked swordfish. 60 to 80, I would do karambuan. That will take 9,013 cooked karambuan. If you don't have taibowane trio done so that you can't do karambuan, a second option would be from 60 to 80 to do, uh, just continue doing swordfish. So that'd be 12,231 cooked swordfish. And then another option from 62 to 80 would be to do monkfish. This requires swan song, and that would be 11,016 cooked monkfish. Level 80 to 99, I would do shark, and that will take 52,612 cooked shark. Of course, this list is assuming that you're using cooking gauntlets and that you're using the Hosidious range. Those two things will drastically lower your burn rate, which means that you can cook higher level fish earlier on, not burn as many, make more profit, and get more XP. This method will take about 50 hours to get from 33 to 99. There will be about 10 mil profit from 33 to 99. 
Another little tip is you can do two tick cooking. I imagine if you're using this method, you probably don't want to do two tick cooking, but for those of you that may be interested or just want the game knowledge, here's how you do two tick cooking. You drop all of your food so that you only have one in your inventory, then you can just click on the range and it will automatically cook it. Then you pick up the next food and then you just click on the range and it will automatically cook it again and you just repeat that over and over. This doesn't bring up the little dialog box and it's instant. Regular cooking is four ticks and this is two ticks, so it, so it essentially halves the time that you're cooking. Bake pie is the next method that we're going to talk about. This is a lunar spell. So lunar diplomacy quest is required and 65 magic is required for this method. The XP rates range from 350k to 500k cooking XP per hour. In addition to that, you also get 115k mage XP per hour. This is a very costly method. It is also very AFK. The XP rates change depending on your cooking level. When you're lower cooking, you have to use lower level pies and those aren't as good of XP. 500k is doing summer pies, which are a level 95 cooking requirement. The cost ranges from 7.8 GP per cooking XP to 2.2 GP per cooking XP, depending on which pie you're making. With this spell, you have a 100% success rate, so you'll never burn any pies. This spell requires five fire runes, four water, and one astral. It's highly recommended to get a steam battle staff. The steam battle staff gives you infinite water and infinite fire, so all you have to buy is astral runes. Then you buy the pies that you're gonna do. You're gonna, you buy the raw form of them. You withdraw the raw pies. You just simply click on bake pie in the spell book. The spell will be auto cast for every pie in your inventory. It's one cast for every pie. You get 60 magic XP every time you cast it, and then the regular cooking XP that you'd get for cooking the pie. From level 33 to 34 cooking, that's 16 apple pies. 34 to 47 is 398 garden pies. 47 to 52, 296 fish pie. 52 to 70, 3,411 botanical pies. 70 to 73 is 1,216 admiral pies. 73 to 95 is 35,358 dragon fruit pies and 95 to 99 is 16,396 summer pies. Using this method it should take about 30 hours to get from 33 to 99. It will be about 64 mil loss and you also gain 3.4 million magic XP. The final method that I have to talk about is the mess hall. This requires 45% favor in the Hosidius house. It's located just south of Zaya Castle. When you're lower than 65 cooking, the XP rate is about 94k XP per hour. And when you're 65 plus, the XP rate is 200k per hour. This is extremely click intensive. There is zero profit. So you're probably wondering why would you want to use this method? Because it's a lot worse than the other methods. The main reason why you'd want to use this method is if you are an Iron Man and you have no fish in your bank, but you still want to get cooking up. This method requires no supplies. There are two dishes that you're going to make. When you're 65 plus, you're going to be making pineapple pizza, so I'm making that in the clip. First, you want to withdraw 13 bowls and 13 pots of flour. Then you go and fill up your bowls with the sink. Then you use your bowl of water on the flour, and you pick to make a pizza base. You can just hold down two on your keyboard and then just spam click your bowl of water to your flour, and then that will... Uh, complete them pretty quick. After that, you want to use your empty bowl on the cupboard. That will put all your bowls in the cupboard. Next, you want to withdraw 13 tomatoes. Once again, just spam the tomatoes on your pizza bases and that will make an unfinished pizza. Then you withdraw 13 cheese. You use the cheese on the pizza base. Then you withdraw 13 pineapple. You use your knife on the pineapple. Just spam click it like you've been previously doing. That will chop up your pineapple into chunks. Then you go over to the range and you do two tick cooking with your pizzas. And then finally you use your pineapple chunks on the pizza. That will finish off the pineapple pizza. Then you just go over to the table, you put it on the table and that will give you your XP drop. If you're lower than 65 cooking, you want to make servery stews. To make these, you withdraw 14 bowls from the cupboard. Then you go and get 14 raw meat. Then you want to two tick cook your meat. After that, you want to fill up your bowls of, with water from the sink. Then you want to run back to the cupboard while you're running back. Start using your meat on your bowls of water. Just spam click the meat on the bowl of water. Then next, you want to withdraw 14 potatoes. 
you want to use your potato on your unfinished stew just spam click that and then you want to move back over to the range and you want to two tick cook your stews after that you just go and put the stews on the table and then you get your xp drop the total time at mess hall should be about 61.5 hours to get to 99 and the profit will be zero so with that you should know all of the good methods for training cooking in the game and now we're going to go over the times and the profits and the analysis of everything to maybe help you make a good decision in what you want to do for your training so first up we have the time from level 50 to 99 obviously one tick karambuans is the best so the lower it is on this bar chart the better wines are the second fastest so obviously if you want your 99 as fast as possible, the answer is clear from looking at this chart. The click intensive ones out of this list are one tick karambuan and the mess hall, with wines being kind of a middle ground. Next, as far as how much it costs or how much you make from each method, the further it is to the right on this chart, the more profit you make. So bake pie is, has a bar going all the way super far to the left, that is because you lose a lot of money using that method. Once again, one tick karambuans coming in at the first place, even for the profit. So if you want profit, do one tick karambuans. If you want speed, do one tick karambuans. The only reason why you wouldn't do one tick karambuans is if you don't want to do a super click intensive method. Once again, the AFK methods are the alternate fish and the bake pie. So if you want an AFK method, you're either going to have to spend a lot for the baked pie or you're going to have to settle for some lower XP rates with the alternate fish. Then here are some charts for efficiency. So these charts are calculated with 1.1 mil XP per hour as the efficient cooking XP per hour, 500 K GP as the efficient GP per hour. The GP per hour has no additional EHP along with it. And then finally, each method is assumed to make the difference between the best money-making method. So let's say one tick karambuan, you make 200K more GP than another method. The other method would have to spend time making that 200K GP through the efficient money-making method. Also a big thing for baked pie is I did not include any EHP for magic. Magic is technically zero EHP because you can get it with zero time doing things like magic review while training other skills. If magic XP is important to you, then baked pie may actually be better than is represented here. This is a little non nonsensical because if you can do one tick karambuans, your best money is not 500k per hour. But if you absolutely were not gonna do one tick karambuans, um, alternate fish would be the best method at that point. Moving on to the second chart, this is exactly the same as the previous, but in this one, the assumed efficient GP per hour is 1,005,000. And this is the point where alternate fish and wines are even. If you make any more GP per hour than this, then wines become the more efficient between the two. Finally, the third chart, the efficient GP per hour is 5,756,000. It's at this point where alternate fish and baked pie become even. So if you can make this much or more GP per hour, then baked pie is more efficient than alternate fish. Wine is still the second best though. Thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully this guide was extremely helpful. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit subscribe. It helps me out. So if this video helped you out at all, please help me out. Make sure to leave a comment as well. What did you like best about the guide and what can I improve for future guides? Thank you guys and see you next time.